Hello friends, welcome to Nigra Techies. This is our React.js authentication series. Part of this video, let me explain how to consume Secure.NET Core Web API by passing JWT token. For doing this implementation, I am already having one created .NET Core Web API application. So here, I am going to use this customer services. So I'm currently I'm getting this 401 error because it is a secured one. We have to pass the JWT token. So we can check from the postman first. My token type is barrier. So next we have to pass the JWT token. For generating the token, we have one service here. If you are new to .NET Core Web API, I have created the separate video. That video link also I will share in this description. How to watch it? So let me take this JWT token. See now it is returning the customer data. Okay. The same service only I am going to use in our application. Here I listed out the steps. The first we are going to consume these services. The next I am going to pass this JWT token. For passing the token we need the JWT token right. So that JWT token I will generate from our login function itself. Now let me go to our react application. So the application I have used in my previous videos. Okay. So in my previous videos, I have explained how to do the registration and implementing this login functionality using JSON server HTTP. API. Now we are moving into real-time .NET Core Web API. So currently our login functionality implemented using JSON server HTTP API only. In this home component, after this H1 tag, I am going to have one table okay here i have added this header the next one is tbody for this tbody we are going to generate dynamically from our dotnet core services first let me declare one use state variable customer list and the update method is list update so the default value should be null okay so next we can consume the services the steps are the same only we have to use this fetch option then we have to pass our api url So once we got the response, we are converting into JSON format. So in this section, we can get the data. So whatever data is coming, let me include in this console. And the final one is the error section. So this is the very basic step for consuming any services in our React.js application. So in our scenario, we have to pass the JWT token, right? So let me declare one variable here. So I am provided this empty value only. So next I am going to include one object. Here we can include this header. So in this header we are going to pass this authorization. So 
so whatever steps we have followed in this postman the same thing only here also we are we going to use so my token type is the barrier so let me use the same thing here and on space yes it's added so finally we have to pass this token also so let me generate the token once again because it is have the expiration time let me save this one we can verify see actually we are getting this data so that means uh, we are just consuming the data from our dotnet core web api so next i am going to do two things one is so currently i am having the value in the variable of customer list so i am going to bind in our table and the second thing here i just hard coded this token so instead of that we can generate the token from our login method okay so first let me populate this table body so let me take this one we can use this map option so here we can include this key so key is nothing but the unique value so we can use this id so next we can generate the td okay so there are four columns so the first one is id and other fields we can check from our services yeah name email and credit limit okay okay this is done and the initial stage uh, we have this null value so before binding this data we have to check the null condition So if it is having the data only we are generating the for loop and the binding okay okay the data is coming in this console but it is not binded so let me check this thing yeah the problem is like actually i have added into the console.log so let me use our function then only it will update our use state okay now it is fine see now so the data are loaded fine okay so the next thing is instead of making the hard code value of JWT token so we can change our service in our login method let me log out this one so if I am checked in this login page so currently I am having one function for implementing this login so we can use the same thing otherwise let me create one duplicate function okay proceed login using api let me change in our html also so here first we have to change this endpoint so let me go to my dotnet core services so actually this is the post method so first let me take this url and let me remove this one so in this object first the method the method is the post method 
so the next one is header so in this header we can pass the content type application for json so finally body so in this body we can pass our object okay so we can use this json dot stringify so here we need to pass our object so first let me define our object here okay so we have the format we can follow the same thing here so instead of this admin user we will get everything from our use state username and the same way we have the use state is password now let me pass this object here so here let me command everything we can enable this console.log admin user admin see it is generating our token okay so now what we can do so let me include this JWT token into the session variable now let me command this one let me take this whole section so first we are providing this success message that is fine and in this session variable we are adding this username this one also fine now we are navigating into our dashboard the same way we have to include this our token also If you don't have any error, we suppose to throw any error message, so it will automatically comes to the catch. Okay. Now let me save this one. JWT token is not defined. Oh, this one. Fine. So now the error got resolved. Now let me refresh the screen once again. Admin user and admin see it is logged in now we can check in this session yeah so see it is added as the new variable okay now we can use the same JWT token here so in our application I mean this home page so instead of hard coding we can directly get from our session storage okay We can use the same key here also. Okay, this is fine. Now I'm going to clear everything, right? Okay, all the keys are automatically got removed. Even this local storage also. We don't have nothing. Now let me log in once again. Admin user and admin. See now, the data are loaded. So if I am checked in this application, the new token should be added in our 
key see it is included okay now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in our next video we can see one of the interesting topic please stay tuned for my next video thank you thanks for watching